Good morning, sir. It's my great pleasure to present you today my project on ham spam SMS detection. Uh, I have done this project along with my team members Manali and Krina. So nowadays we receive, you know, n number of unwanted and annoying spam messages. So the aim of my project is to identify whether the message is spam or ham. So for this, we developed the model by using, you know, many machine learning algorithms which has shown promising results, you know, with an accuracy rate of over 95%. I'll walk you through all the steps which we have done in the project. So firstly, we have done the data pre-processing. So, I mean, uh, for the data pre-processing, what we have done, we collected, uh, we collected a diverse data set of SMS messages, including both ham and spam. After that, we have done the data cleaning, like, you know, we just remove irrelevant or redundant information, like special characters, punctuation. And then we done text normalization, like convert all the text to lowercase and standardize the format of the text. Then we have done the, you know, stop words removal, and we just remove all the stop words, like and, the, of. So we just remove all these stop words, and we have done the lemmatization. So what does lemmatization does? Lemmatization is a natural language processing technique used to reduce words to their base form or root form. So to get the better overview, we use word cloud. So in the context of SMS spam detection, the most common words in spam messages can be identified by the largest words in the word cloud. For example, a word cloud of ham messages, we can see the words like uh, I am, come, uh, you. So these uh, words we usually uh, use on you know daily personal communication. On the other hand side, we uh, a word cloud of spam messages, words like you know free text, chat, win guarantee. So these types of word we usually see in the spam messages. So we use these words as a features to train the model. So next slide over to you, Manali. Okay, so coming to the main topic, which is vectorization. So vectorization is an important process where we are converting words into the number. Okay, so there are so many ways we can do vectorization. Some of them are bag of word, term frequency, TF-IDF, word to vect, and glow. So here we have used term frequency, then TF-IDF, and word to vector. So we will see one by one. So what is term frequency? So in term frequency, <clears throat> term frequency means number of times term means that word is appear in the document upon the total number of item in that document. So basically in this process, what we did, we import SQL and feature extract text and import count vectorizer library. Using that, we use fit transform and we convert all the data, all the words into the number and we create one data frame which we are going to use to input in the model. So second is TF-IDF, which is also called term frequency inverse document frequency. So it is a product of TF and IDF. So what TF-IDF do? TF-IDF gives more weightage to the word that is rare in the corpus. Also, it provides more importance to the word that is more frequent in the document. So how did we did that? So we import TF-IDF vectorizer and using that vectorizer, we convert text into vector on the basis of the frequency and we store that feature name into word as a feature name. Then we create one data frame. So using that, we get one data. Moving to the third, which is word to wake model. In word to wake model, it is used as uses a neural network model to learn word associations from a large corpus of the text. The effectiveness of the word to wake comes from its ability to group together vectors of the similar word. So here we import key vector, key vector. Also, we have to import Google News vector negative 300 dot bin. We use the function to convert the word into the vectors. Using that, we create one data frame. So now we can see here CBO. So what is CBO and Skipgram? CBO model, the distributed representation of the context are combined to pro pro predict the word in the middle. And the Skipgram model, the distributed representation of the input word is used to predict the context. Next to the Krina. Since a copper size is quite large, so dimension reduction becomes an important step. For dimension reduction, 
we would be using two approaches one is pca which is principal component analysis and other is heuristic approach for tf and tf idf we have used heuristic approach that is dropping the text that appears less than p percent of the documents so the value of p which we have chosen here is 0.5 that is it will delete all the words from the corpus whose frequencies are less than 0.5 percentage after dimension reduction of tf the reduced data set which we got is 5572 rows and 349 columns and for tf idf the dimension which we got is 5572 and 72 columns the third is word to vec there we have applied pca approach the main aim of pca is to reduce the dimension by capturing maximum variance in the data the threshold which we have applied here is 95% variance so the graph which we which we can see on the screen is showing the maximum variance of 95% with the help of two components next slide the model different different models which we have applied here are first decision tree where we have divided our data into train valid and test in 80 10 and 10 then the classification report which here we can see the first thing is precision precision is correctly predicted positive observation over total number of positive observation here zero is ham and one is spam so 0.96 denotes out of all the ham observation 96% were correctly predicted as ham by the model second is recall which is correctly predicted positive observation over actual positive observation 0.97 here denotes out of all the observation that are actually ham 97 were correctly predicted as ham by the model the next is accuracy which is correct prediction over total number of observation so out of total observation 95% of the time are model predicted predicted correctly the next is fn score which is harmonic mean of precision and recall it balance trade off between precision and recall and gives a single metric so here the precede uh, the fn score which we got is 0.97 and the au roc score which we got is 0.89 which denotes overall performance of the model with the help of true positive rate and false positive rate the next model which we applied is bagging on tf factorization where the accuracy we received is 97% and au roc score is 0.8988 the third model which we applied is random forest for tf the accuracy we got is 0.97 and au roc is 0.8942 the fourth model is adaboost the accuracy which we got is 0.96 and au roc score is 0.8979 the fifth model is support vector machine where the accuracy is 0.97 and the au roc score is 0.897 the sixth model which we applied as logistic regression where the accuracy is 0.98 and au roc score is 0.9057 okay so next model is knn on tf factorization where the accuracy we got 89% and au roc score is 0.65 Uh, decision tree on tf idf factorization where we got a correctly 96% and au roc score is 0.91 uh, bagging on tf idf factorization where we got a correctly 98% and au roc score is 0.93 random forest on tf idf where we got a correctly 98% and au roc score is 0.92 Ada boost on TF idea vectorization where we receive accuracy ninety eight percent and EU ROC score zero point nine two. SVM support vector machine on TF idea vectorization where we got accuracy on ninety eight percent and EU ROC score is zero point nine two. Okay, so in in TF idea vectorization only we apply logistic regression where we got AU ROC score. 0.83 with the accuracy of 95%. The next model is KNN on TF IDF. Here we got a URC score of 0.6 with the accuracy of 89%.
Next is a bagging model on what to vect vectorizer. So here AUROC score is 0 0.5, accuracy is 0 0.85. On random forest on what to vect, our AUROC score is 0 0.5 with the accuracy of 0 0.86 percent. Support vector machine model on what to vect vectorizer, our AUROC score is 0 0.5 with the accuracy of 0 0.86. So we apply corpus on TF, TF, IDF and what to vectorizer and we found out that our logistic algorithm on TF data is, is the best model we are getting. So we try to tune that model to get the best result out of it. So we got our accuracy is 0 0.98 which is 98% on the AROC score of 0 0.91. Also on the same model we try to fit our test data. So test data accuracy is 0 0.98 with the AROC score of 0 0.94. So this is the base model we got on logistic regression. So coming to the conclusion, detecting spam in this digital era is, is very much important. So in this whole process, we learn and perform many techniques in which limitization, what to, uh, what to vect, word cloud and other vectorization methods are included. In this process, we understood that on this data, our term frequency model is performing better with the logistic regression. Logistic regression giving us the best model and KNN give us the least performance in this data. So our best accuracy is 98% with the AUROC score of 0.94. Thank you so much.